So, hello Cryosphere and uh, welcome back to Clueless FM where today we will focus on Arctic sea ice extent and more specifically the previous full year of sea ice extent in the Arctic and this is a new, fairly new plot from March and what you see here is basically the year circle and well to be quite honest uh, in my own head I've always pictured winter down here and spring over here and the warmest part of summer up here and then autumn and late autumn and winter and so forth but for the purposes of sea ice it's gonna be the other way around and you have basically daylight hours on the x-axis here the January here and summer solstice over here and then fall back to late summer and autumn back to winter and um, you see January starts here, winter solstice is uh, here at the end of December and then the sea ice extent climbs all the way up to I think March 17th. So the pink plot here is um, the start of the spring melting season and we are currently here yesterday. You can also see that we are slightly higher than um, last year for the same date and that is also why the the average of these 365 days the annual average plot is slightly increasing so and the the plot also shows you kind of what to expect in, in what part of the year um, we only go lower than the annual average in the week around the summer solstice June 21st and then even though the days are getting shorter most parts of the Arctic anyway the heat is still building up and the ice is still melting all the way down to about mid-September. So for this short Clueless FM, have a good time to the next one in April.